Hey everybody. So, I'm going to make some dinner tonight. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make some frozen gyoza. But um, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, bulk it up a bit with some mini Napa cabbage, some cilantro, sorry, cilantro, some parsley, some tomatoes, and some carrots, uh, so that I can have a nice vegetable rich meal, a little bit of sauce, and I'll be able to use that sauce to um, more or less steam the uh, gyoza. The gyoza are just um, dumplings, vegetable dumplings in this case. So the first thing I'm going to do with my nice sharp knife is I'm going to chop up this cabbage. And I'll take that and put that in the pan right away. I found these nice mini cabbages at my local uh, Asian market, and um, I hadn't seen them at my own uh, regular American-style food market. doesn't mean it's not there, I just for some reason noticed it uh, when it was in the Asian market. I'm going to cut these tomatoes nice and thin, and they will cook down in the pan. And um, I'll make sure to add some salt to those to bring out the subtle sweetness. Sounds like my phone is about to die, so I don't know whether we'll get the whole video in, but at least you'll have some idea what I'm going to do. I also have some soy sauce, uh, like I said, some carrots, and some herbs. I'm just going to move those over to the side. The carrots will give a nice sort of meaty texture and also some really beautiful sweetness. And um, I'm a flexitarian rather than a full-blown vegetarian. I do have meat from time to time, but I, I try to limit it. And get some more room on my cutting board by throwing all this in my pan. And I'll just take my herbs, bring them over here, bunch them up a bit, try to do a medium chop. I don't mind stems. Um, I try to make them relatively small.
So I read this book called Volumetrics, and Volumetrics, um, I'll probably put a link in the description on the blog. Uh, Volumetrics is essentially a, a theory that says, and the theory is pretty sound, that um, if you add a lot of um, vegetables to what you're eating, you'll add very few calories, add a lot of flavor, add a lot of bulk, hence the volume in volumetrics, and you will uh, therefore be more satiated without necessarily adding a lot of calories, as opposed to adding something that's dense in calories but not necessarily very satiating, like oil or uh, sugar. And also, there's not a whole lot of nutrition in those things, um, aside from uh, fat or carbohydrates, whereas uh, vegetables are mostly water. And so it's a pretty sensible way to add calories. So there is my pan. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the heat on that. I'm going to turn it on a relatively high heat. I'm going to give it a spray of olive oil. I'm going to add some salt. And some pepper. Just a little bit of soy. And I'll add more soy towards the end. And once this starts to heat, I will add my gyoza and let them steam. So the idea of uh, there not being many calories in this is exactly true. The, the cabbage is probably uh, 75 calories all spoken. The carrots are probably about 30 apiece. The uh, parsley and cilantro are, are nothing. I mean, single digits. And I could add like a carrot to this. The tomatoes are about 20 to 30 a piece, relatively small tomatoes. Soy is uh, about 10 calories for a tablespoon. I threw about a tablespoon in there so far. And it'll cook down really nice and quick. And what I'll do is I will add the gyoza. The gyoza are the, are the most calories, but with all this other food, um, I'll be satiated for basically a couple hundred calories. Five gyoza, according to the back of the package here, is uh, 270 calories. There's three, there's four, there's five, and there's only seven in this package left, so I'm going to go ahead and put in all seven. So, um, I'm just going to more or less let this cook down. I'm going to take this pizza pan. I'm going to put it on top of my uh, pan. I'm going to take my heat and bring it down to medium. I'm going to put my timer on for five minutes. And I'm going to see what happens. Um, but this idea of uh, putting a lot of vegetables in your cooking in order to increase satiation but decrease calories is, I think, a very smart move, and it helped me a great deal when I lost before. Thanks so much for paying attention, and um, I will talk to you again soon.